Beat People injured here, 3v3, Soproni brood layers, blue team, it's Leston as an Elder Farseer support commander that fights in melee combat, lots of great buffs, with some debuffs and control abilities too, some decent mobility also alongside Sertopi is a tech marine, starts off range combat, puts out some good damage, can also support with structures and repair and get a little melee build going, and riding off the blue team is Lord DeSace, as a plague champion starts off range combat, with a damage of a time bolter can get melee weapons some decent utility and support can build turrets and repair but is pretty slow red team a whole bunch of orcs first up the holy darkness is a commander knob infiltrating commander that shoots you stabs you and blows you up orky style begins range combat with a twin link shooter alongside black relic is a big angry war boss melee commander that walks through objects very good offense disruption and support from the front lines and rounding off the red team is cyrus as a mech boy teleporting commander that fights range combat, really good DPS, can also support, build structures, disrupt and repair. Saproni so Brood Layers then, not a map you see very often at all, I think it looks pretty good. Problems being, it's very big and square, when you have a square map, it often exasperates the size and whoever made it hasn't helped that out by spreading the points out like crazy, I mean, look where the natural power and the natural victory points are, they are right in the corner. So it's basically a, si a single cap map a lot of the time. But it can create some interesting situations if you get one player going really hard against the VP and then the other team has to decide to, you know, do they defend it or do they go for the other team's natural. You could get some interesting mobility conundrums there. But it is a bit too big and those VPs are a bit too natural for general play and there's not quite enough cover I don't think especially in the middle look very very little cover to utilize so I assume as is usually the case on this map we're gonna see a massive fight over this central victory point which the blue team hold at the moment some Nurgle worship there from Lord Isais I hope I'm saying that right no idea how you meant to pronounce that thing heretics into retreat and Orcs flanking in with the Commander Nob. He's a little bit isolated here though. Mechboy backing off has shooters beside him. Heretics moving in but they get stunned by that awesome stun bomb. That's the starting ability of the Commander Nob. You can also infiltrate by default of course. But that stun bomb is so powerful in early engagements. Especially the very first engagement can often win it for you. And the Commander Nob is really good in first engagements for that reason. Triple shooters, or is this shooters from several players here? Yeah, Black Relic with two, and this one from Cyrus. Looks like Cyrus has replaced some sluggers that he lost already. It has a pain way up, though, does the Holy Darkness. And he's following the commander up there as he retreats, as you can see. Mechboy then capping mid for the red team. Are we going to see pushes for these very natural power and victory points? As you can probably tell, the map has a kind of Tyranid theme. We have these cover objects here, but there's very little of them in the middle. Eldar have the potential to be fantastic on this map if they could get their webway gates going and their general mobility. As you can see here, both of the Dire Avengers using fleets and the Farseer also begins with the fleet ability. Banshees over there, they will also have their fleet now with the aspect of strength. Shooter boys pouring that piercing DPS on the Farseer, forcing her to back off. I think she's waiting for those Banshees to finish that cap on that contested power. And the two contested powers are really important on this map. Can really swing it for you if you can defend them and get some gens up. But even if you don't get the gens up, if you just keep them noded and defended, they can make a difference over time. Got two war banners mid, one of them being repaired. The mech boy with his death gun. That's a setup weapon, as you can see, the firing arc there, suppressing the two Dire Avenger squads, and Banshees don't want any part of it, so fleet away. And he can teleport around with this thing set up, which can be really powerful if you get this thing up early, which he has. Big shooters on his shooter boys also gives them two big shooters in the squad, increased range and DPS, and aiming, what's that, which is suppression on demand, which... It's bad news for the Howling Banshees, especially since you can really see them coming on this map. Very, very little in the way of shot blockers. In fact, we do what we must. I'm not sh I'm not sure if these Tyranid Towers are shot blockers, but other than that, there's nothing. Terrain does not block shots by default. 
which means you can stand on top of it and shoot down and up and stuff. Devastators on the field for Sertope need to make their way to the middle because Red Team are looking pretty dominant so far. The Orcs sweeping across the map, even taking this natural wreck point. And he's going to go and harass some power here, the mech boy of Cyrus. This could be pretty annoying because he can set up, as you can see, covering the power and really screwing up any kind of defense. But less than either out of sheer luck or foresight has gone around the mech boy's death gun and is chasing off some shooters. But here he comes teleporting in. That's really risky though because, oh, look at this. He's using the ghost helm to suppress the mech boy and takes him down. Nice play from Leston. Mind War is awesome. Damage over time and instant suppression kicking off on the west side. Some Nurgle worship. The war boss chasing down some Chaos Space Marines. Look at how open this map is. There's barely any shot blockers whatsoever. Really good map for ranged armies in general. We'll see how the war boss does. Looks like he's going to go down here. So the Orcs losing two of their commanders. The mech boy was repurchased immediately by Cyrus though. And he, with his teleporting, might be able to go and grab that war boss pretty easily. Chaos Space Marines with Eternal War down to two models though and Sniper Scouts up for Sertopi. Two of them, yes. Such a big open map, why not? Sniper's really good on this. Less than not getting any ranges though, he's going tier two. In fact, everyone tier two apart from Sertopi and Lord Isais. Lord Isais, not sure how you say this. The Plague Champion is capping or rather decapping a natural wreck point for the Orcs, that's good. And Sertopi making the first concerted effort to bash power here. Sluggers and a pain boy and a Kamadanov coming to defend. But he does take down a generator and might get this node. The Flamer for the Tactical Marines very good at dealing with structures as are all Flamers. And the Sluggers have some burners themselves. Gives them a couple of power melee weapons as you can see from the tooltip there. And some Flamers to burn down structures and her blobs of infantry in general. 358, 421 as the players start to think about tier 2 units. Warp Spiders on the way for less than Black Relic with a Death Dread. Another one for Cyrus. This is going to be pretty fun to watch. And Sertopi and Lord Isaias with heavy tier 1s and very late tier 2s. I mean, Lord Isaias is floating like crazy here. Needs to go. This is always what I do as well. I always float tier 1 like a fool. Those Warbanders are still mid, that's a constant damage buff and a little speed buff I believe to surrounding allies. You can increase that by using the ability on the Warbanner. Power bash there. On this kind of, I suppose it's semi-natural, this secondary power point that both teams have. You can see the blue one here. So that's pretty easy to bash. If you can't get to the really natural one, you can bash this one which is pretty good in terms of map balance I suppose. Here is the Death Dread then. Melee Walker for Orcs has that Rampage ability you just saw increasing its speed. Can also get Burners and Bits upgrade which has increases its health a significant amount. Takes it up to 10.50 hit points. That's going to be reduced in the upcoming update. It's going to get 9.50 hit points with the Burners and Bits. I think it's around 60 DPS heavy melee which doesn't sound like a lot but it does splash damage and has a really powerful special attack and you can get it out pretty quickly as you can see and this one does have its burners and bits you can see it burning down generators which is the primary function for these things it seems pretty much charge forward burn down generators and then just live as long as you can tearing things apart plasma cannon on the way for Sertopi we might see the melter gun from him to deal with these death dreads he does have bionics up though not the Signum, which is what you usually see paired with the Melter. Tactical Marines caught by the Death Dread there and the Sniper Raffles, as you can imagine. Can't do a lot to vehicles. They are shooting down those Shooter Boys, though. And he might lose his squad if he's not careful. They have a Nob Leader. Does not want to lose them. Nob Leader increasing the damage of the entire squad once you hit Tier 2. And also has a pretty decent weapon himself. Also acts as a Detector, the War Boss. Back on his feet is decapping the central victory point. And look at this. Eldar having to defend again. 
Shooter Boys in retreat getting caught by Banshees who are tearing them apart but the Death Dread with that special attack look at that thing knocked them flying did a big chunk of damage the shooters go down but those Banshees need to be really careful there's the Haywire Grenade from the Warp Spiders actually turning into a pretty good game here we have fights all over the map I thought it was just going to be a camping fight mid but players are spreading out and pressuring different areas Death Dread gets another Haywire which completely shuts down all of its weapons and reduces the movement speed as you can see but it should be able to just walk back to base 294361 a double cap for the Orky Red Team Cyrus has lost a lot though on that power push I'm not sure if he took any of them down looks like he took the node down did he take anything else though? Chaos Dreadnought on the field for Lord Isace with the default auto cannon. Good damage to all targets and a small area of effect. Can get some marks to change its weapon loadout and give it an ability, but we'll see what he goes for. Tank Busters on the way for Black Relic, and he has some Stick Bombers, which will do pretty good on this map since it's completely lacking in things to get their bombs caught on. Stick Bombers have a real problem throwing their bombs upstairs usually and stuff like that. Down goes the Death Dread. Last Cannon helping to finish it off alongside the Howling Banshees with their Execution of Spear Exarch. Stick Bombs thrown in there. Looks like he cancelled the second throw. They usually throw two Stick Bombs at a time. Last Master Nice Marines doing their thing against the shooters but this is an Orky Rush. You need some support Another shot from the Blastmaster. Death Dread needs to charge in and tie things up. It's not doing so. Now it, there it goes. Now he's taking Las Cannon shots though. Stick bombs from the Commander Knob himself also has a special shooter, basically an Orky shotgun and a sneaky infiltration kit. He needs to tie up that Las Cannon or stun it, which is what he's doing. Grenade from the Scouts, nicely done. Gonna take down the Commander. Yes, that was an ill-advised push by the Holy Darkness, I think. 261, 338, a 2 to 1 cap for the blue team who are looking pretty solid in tier 2, has to be said. Double walk spiders from Leston will be fantastic on this map if you can micro them well. Sertopi with Devastators and Plasma Devastators, and that Blast Master doing its thing alongside the Dreadnought, which is now marching up the west side. Orcs are taking mid though. Despite the artillery there, they are taking mid, and we do have Turrets and Beacon from Sertopi which gives them a huge advantage allows them to retreat back to that beacon and reinforce so they now have infield reinforce we don't see a war truck from the orcs which is their infield reinforcement death tread backing away from the mid has leveled to two for black relic usually a pretty good achievement to get your death tread to level two we do see the melter gun from the tech marine level three still has that bionics for the Bionic sweep in case sluggers get too close. He's in heavy cover, but he's taking damage from those shooters. Takes down the war banners, and blue team will retake the center. And as you can see, these guys just retreating back to the beacon. So it's no longer much of a loss for blue team to retreat. Instead of losing tons of ground and retreating all the way back to base, it is retreating back to this beacon. It really is a beacon map, isn't it? 247, 323. Tail Spaceman is getting very close to going down there. Death Gun Mechboy teleports into a whole lot of piercing damage from the Warp Spiders, and these guys can really hand out the pain. And teleport around, of course, as well. And have that Haywire Grenade. Really good little unit if you can micro them around effectively. 247309. What are Red Team gonna do? They need some flanking action. Or maybe just push to natural. Look at this though. Marcus Inch, Dreadnought, with that missile launcher, is gonna bash gens and it's very good at doing so. Might take that node immediately. Node does shoot the generators. Is that two volleys for a dead generator? We can't tell he's shooting at the node now. Nodes are tougher than gens. 247293, two to one, four. The blue team and they're looking solid and in fact Sertopi is venturing forward with his infiltrated sniper scouts doesn't fire though there we go they are a set up weapon sniper rifles taking out a couple of sluggers there 
Pain Boy in amongst the Tactical Marines with his damage over time power melee weapon, but that is not going to be power melee for long. It's being sent back to being just a regular melee weapon in the next update. Well, not sent back, I think it's always been a power melee weapon, but not for long. 247, 271, also getting his heal over time ability nerfed. It's going to last less time. I think it's from 12 seconds to 8 seconds or 10 seconds to 8 seconds. Sluggers in retreat now with their burners. No knob leader on those guys though. Banshees are what? Level 2, almost level 3. Kind of surprised we've not seen Leston push for this VP and put a webway gate. There's a lot of places to put a webway gate here which would be annoying to find. But no, blue team happy to sit on their 2 to 1 for now. Cyrus with some flash kits. High DPS range units for Orc 2 3. Begin with the Snaz guns, which are basically pimped out Orc shooters. Lots of piercing damage, but they can also get blasters, which are air of effect weapons. Really powerful against heavy and super heavy infantry. So you might see those to go up against all this chaos and space marine stuff, especially if. Setopi gets some Terminators up in tier 3. Plague Marines on the way for Lord Decise. Sace. 247, 2 to 8, 2 to 1 cap, and Nobs on the field for Black Relic. No upgrades for them yet, though, so they cannot use their Frenzy. It is really expensive to upgrade your Nob squad. He doesn't quite have the resources to get all the upgrades yet. Should get the Mina and Greener first. There's the time field from the Farsia. Really powerful tier 3 ability from the Armory Assyrian. 247, 210. He's taking a risk here. Doesn't need to push in. But kills a bunch of sluggers. And then the Banshees can retreat back to the beacon, right? As long as he's activated it. Doesn't look like he has. He's retreating all the way back to base here, is he? Are they going to cut in? No. That's a mistake from Leston. He should have activated the beacon to make all of his stuff retreat back there. 247, 195. Plasma cannon shot on the shooters. Also hit a knob, I think. They back away now. They do have their Mina and Green, you can tell, because they have that plus icon above their head. Or decorator. Plus icons are a generic marker for having an upgrade and the pain boy is now performing surgery on them unfortunately I can't quite tell what surgery it is until it's finished and we can try and notice if they're faster or, or have oh he's gone for the health he's gone for the I think it's plus 15% health or 10% health so those knobs are gonna be tougher and if you can get the the banner for the war boss level 4 knobs with pain boy surgery they become insanely tough 247 165 you usually see the plus one speed for them though which is generally pretty damn invaluable for a melee squad what is the war boss tanking damage with angry bits and there's a rocks and that's a really nicely placed rocks might finish off those blast master noise marines somehow they live there's a nurgle shrine it's not being worshipped though and i think he did lose the blast masters and here's another rocks good grief it's all kicking off now Predator tank in all sorts of trouble. Where was it going? Trying to avoid the rocks, I suppose. But those knobs made really quick work of it alongside the death dread there. We have a noxious cloud choking these orcs to death and forcing off sleep shooters and sluggers. But Knob Squad are making a run for it. Ard Boys is on them. Nice grenade though by Ser Topi. And the D cannon needs to set up in a useful direction, Mr. Leston. He is resetting it up now. Plague Champion with the Plague Fist, Fetid Armor and Mutus Discharge. We'll see how he does with that little combo. He's level 2. Orcs, a nice push from them. They retook it. They did not destroy the beacon. They did destroy the turrets. So they can push the beacon a little bit easier now. And they also took out Lord Isace's Blastmaster Noise Marines. But they will retake mid, blue team. Thanks to the Plague Champion. D-Cannon pushing up. Really powerful artillery unit. Look at the range on this thing. It is tier 3, but it's awesome. Instant projectile. So it can hit moving targets like that. 
and has the singularity ability as well. 227142. Sneaky Orcs are retaking this, or rather decapping this natural victory point of blue team, though. So they need to divert some forces, and I think it will be good for. Is it Cyrus on that side or Holy Darkness? I think it's Holy Darkness on the west side to keep pushing this when he can. Especially with the Commander Knob, since he can do pretty good solo with his stun bomb and his stick bombs and his special shooter. 227, 136 is a pretty short range weapon, has a passive chance to knock stuff over, as you saw on the farce here there, and he gets, wow, walks into a wall of piercing damage from the Eldar. Eldar can become so shooty in tier 2. So I think it might be better for the commander to push that west side pretty much permanently. So it's, since he's going to struggle to get close enough with that shotgun, another rocks on the Eldar blob this time. And Leston didn't see it until really late. And that is a really good rocks. Knob Squad running into it without a care because Frenzy is up. And that was a really good rocks. That's a lot of reinforcing to do. And I think, yeah, he lost. A Dire Avenger squad and a Warp Spider squad, I think. Might have already lost those Dire Avengers, I'm not sure. That's a singularity. You saw the Blasters, Flash Gits, unleash a volley on those Banshees, and they did not like it. As you can see, they do knock themselves over firing those very powerful weapons, though. They have a 10% chance to knock themselves back which sometimes causes lots of problems when they're blobbed up like this since they will knock back and then fall into models behind them and knock them over so sometimes one of those 10% chance knockbacks turns into the entire squad being knocked back because the front model falls into the back two. 217, 126, not just cloud but they get inside the war truck and I think they need a couple of these war trucks around if they can just always keep one mid if possible Battle Wagon on the field for Holy Darkness 210 126. Terminator is called in by Sertopi Power Fists and Storm Bolters. They can get an upgraded range weapon, either a heavy heavy flamer, cyclone missile launcher, or a assault cannon. I think they should get the cyclone missile launcher to try and deal with this battle wagon. Also does good damage and disruption against infantry. 204126 Death Dread thrown into drawn fire. Here's another Death Dread. Here comes the War Boss. Has the Power Claw and heavy armor. So he is incredibly tough. Almost 1900 hit points on a single entity. Not easy to deal with at all. And he's leading the line here, the War Boss. Needs some support. He is tanking like crazy, but is going to go down in retreat, I think. Does he get away? He does get away. That's how tough he is. They had everything wailing on him there. Chaos Predator on the field for Lord Ace. That D cannon is still around and Leston does have enough for a nuke of his own. We've seen three rocks from the Triple Orc Red Team and Senta is uncapped here. Shooter Boys and what is this? It's more Shooter Boys pushing the west side. Kwadanob is still determined to stay mid and do his thing. He does revive the War Boss which is good and needs to run away though. Level 4 does he get away? 14 hit points, 15 hit points, he does not get away. Chaos Predator finish him off, but should be able to be revived from there. Warboss needs to move though. Black Predator, I don't think he's realised he's been revived. 204126. Still taking shots is Black Relic. He is in light cover there though, because the Now I'm Angry creates light cover and he does go down. What is he up to? Try to charge in, what is he up to? Ouch, do not blob your orcs up. They have a D cannon in there somewhere. There it is. And a Laz cannon as well, so it might be difficult to get that battle wagon close. Stun bombs thrown in. Stunning the Chaos Predator. Which is being repaired by scouts there. 184126. It is close, but red team have the 2 to 1 because they've taken blue team's natural. Oh look at this though. Less than finally using a gate and scouts are using the actual gate to decap now so we might swap naturals here oh the plague champion has forced off anything orky that was around here and will retake it so we might see a triple cap for the blue team not something you see very often on this map i don't think knob squad 
now have their knob leader and mina and greener up to level three but they do not have their huge ammers yet it's really expensive as i said to get all of their upgrades and it's got a looted tank instead why not 176 121 double flash hits pretty powerful needs to keep them apart if he can because as i said they can knock each other over with the blasters sniper scouts leveling up taking shots at the sluggers and tactical marines is this yes level three using the web brigade but now the web brigade has gone down one seven six one zero six sluggers using swampum and this is a risky engagement there is user choppers with a 35 percent damage increase and plus 60 melee skill really powerful buff from the war bus more sluggers catching them in retreat in fact everything in the orky world catching them in retreat but they do get away without losing a model level three tactical marines for you Maybe time to get those guys a plasma gun to shoot at these knobs, which are heavy infantry. The only no flash kits are heavy infantry now as well. Holy Darkness lost pretty much pretty much his whole army here. As a pain boy. And a knob squad on the way. 17697. Do they have what it takes to push mid? Or will they use a little bit of nuance and push the west side? Plague champions gone down. Must have been shot to pieces by shooters, I imagine. 176. 97 Farseer will revive him and that will level her to 10 because she has spirit stones which gives her more XP when she revives allied heroes I believe she's level 10 armor the Assyrian and gravity blade and she also has that ghost helm which we saw earlier she can switch back to that anytime she likes sniper scouts getting shots in will retreat back to that beacon which has pretty much saved the blue team here I think and there's another rocks because without it the rocks would have sent everything back to base which would have gave the orcs time to cap mid and set up a little bit but as it stands they're just retreating back to the beacon every time they see a rock they need to rock on the beacon there's a turret there though 17678 orcs are capping mid it's shooters who are level 4 doing so and there's a time field so these flash skits cannot fire now and shooters yeah needed to run away there couldn't finish that cap one to one we're back to the one to one naturals in their natural hands level 10 fast here 1177 hit points of a level 4 tech marine with the refractor field bionics and melter gun plague champion level 4 with plague fist fetid mucus discharge and now some chaos terminators with the auto cannon getting another noise marine squad for the blast master i would imagine Orcs with two of their heroes down right in the middle here. 17678. Double knobs from the Holy Darkness. We're going to see a massive knob squad push, I think. Auto cannon terminators. Awesome upgrade for terminators, this auto cannon. Seems a lot more powerful than the Chaos Treadnought one. And does rip through stuff, which gives that demoralizing debuff effect whenever they kill something and the loyalist terminators oh they've gone for the assault cannon really good single target piercing dps from long range down goes a wide banner do red team have what it takes to push here do they have a nuke holy darkness is not too far off but they don't would be a great way to set up a push less than did he use his nuke or did he just get loads of web brigades? I'm not sure. Maybe that's what wiped Holy Darkness and all of his stuff. There's a singularity. 17670 still with the 1 to 1 cap. Red team are taking blue team's natural again. It's the pain boy. It's some stick bombers and sluggers on the mission there. In fact, blue team have been really sloppy losing all of their points. As you can see, they've lost this, this natural wreck point. This natural wreck point's been lost. Orcs with a bit more brains in terms of map control here which is interesting and a big push perhaps no knob squad using frenzy and now odd boys to try and decap and the plague champion using his pestilence strike which he shouldn't have done there because that's given those knobs massive range damage resistance no point in stunning something that's capping a point it's not attacking you 15470 double cap for the orcs can they take mid for the triple? What is capping? It's the war boss trying to stun away now and does go down again. He's level six though. He's done well. Down goes the fake champion. Knob squad caught him. His double knobs. Look at this though. 
Nurgle Shrine. Chaos Terminator is here. Come some noise marines with their sonic blaster at the moment. Are they gonna fire? There we go. One, two, four, seventy. Flash gets pushing forward. War truck there, constantly there to reinforce. They've done well with that war truck. That Cyrus kept it out of trouble. Kept it supporting. Now look at the damage though. You see that demoralization from the Chaos Terminators, that red markings around those models there. 105 and 70. Double Terminators for Sertopi. These guys are on capping duty right now. They might just leave them here to guard this. Might be a little bit risky since they can't retreat, but he does have that teleportation available. Blue team starting to retake their wreck points, but look, they've lost their fully mature, or I should say fully natural power. Amazing. 98, 70, 2 to 1 cap, and there's an Imperial of Abyss on the retreating orcs. Those shooters do get away though, just about. With under 15 hit points, I think. The beacon has won it I think for the blue team assuming they do go on to win that's the only reason they are still in this game I think because of those rocks they just retreated back to the beacon 98 56 red team have done so well to try and pressure the flanks haven't they double walk spiders again from Leston replacing the squad that he lost floating tons of power as you can see this they're not not really too bothered about losing this it seems that revenge is idle are you going to cap, fellas? 98-44. Orcs gearing up for a push. I think. Nope. Commander Nob finally coming towards the west side. The Tech Marine is on guarding duty. Oh, he's gone for the Power Axe as well. Axe of the Mechanicum, as it's called. Bionics and Refractor Field. Nob Squad trying to cap with Frenzy up. And there is the Levitation Field to throw them aside and stop that cap. Fake Champion also there going to town on him. Again though he used the Pestilence Strike. Why? That range damage resistance does affect anything in the Pestilence Strike. So you're helping out those allied knob, those enemy knobs I should say when you use it. No point stunning them when they're just capping. 92, 30, single cap for the Orcs and not giving this up. Lordy says lost a bunch of stuff didn't he only has terminators noise marines and heretics now is he worshipping his shrine I think he is which makes his stuff very very difficult to dislodge they have the reinforce and heal from the noble shrine and if things do get bad they just retreat back to the beacon 7730 knob squad pushing terminators teleporting out they do not want to fight a knob squad without claws 73-30, there's the time field and there's a singularity, that's a nice little combo there. And that grabs everything, ouch. Almost wiped shooter boys. Really good usage of that gravity blade. Really powerful tool to use against knobs. 73-20, despite all of this support stuff, the orcs continue to push and are decapping and now capping mid. 73-17. Leston is floating resources like mad. Is he waiting for an avatar? Surely he is. Avatar really good in this kind of situation, I think, because it gives you those tools to knock things off of caps. Knob squad eating a grenade, and they finish the cap. Need to run away now, though. Need to run away. Run those knobs out of there. Who is this? This is the Holy Darkness. Looks like they got a heal from the Pain Boy. And he's trying to keep them in play here. They are reinforcing off that war truck. War truck needs to back away now. 61, 17. War truck lives somehow. There's another Noxious Cloud. It's all flying in. Blue team are retaking mid. And look at this. They are actually capping red team's natural. And it's all over for red team, I think. War truck goes down. Heroic war truck, but does go down in the end. GG from the players. Triple cap. And blue team win it. And I think it's mostly because of this tech marine shenanigans over here. A beacon and a turret. And of course the play champion weighing in with his shrine. But a valiant effort from the Orcs which actually a really good 3v3. They were pushing the flanks. There were fights all over the map on the early stages. And then it did settle back into as I suspected a fight over mid. 
but nothing wrong with that. It was fun to watch. Lots of losses for the orcs. The what happened to the battle wagon? Didn't see it do anything. Didn't even see it go down. I think I was watching over on this VP, and and maybe an Eldritch storm went in or something. Not sure. But there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.